My boat's floating, you got me in a loving mood Loving mood, yeah My heart's knowing, it's knowing we could make it through Make it through 2014, well what an amazing year for John Crawford Marine. This marks our 50th year in business. And just out of respect to John Crawford, who started the business back in 1964, and also to John Russell, son-in-law, second owner, I'd like to put together a short story of what we've done in 50 years at John Crawford Marine. Reflecting back on the memories, there's so many of my my childhood photos generally are either in front of the boat, behind the boat, in the boat, or on the beach next to the boat. When I was really young, I was up on the veranda looking down and Dad had about a 14 foot aluminium, I'm sure it was a Clark back then, and, uh, and Dad had a whole crate full of crabs. That was probably the point where I went, well, put two and two together. To catch the crabs, you sort of had to have the boat. A lure of boating, it's, it's just something that gets in your blood and it's probably one of the most relaxing things I think that, that you can ever do. My uh, very early boating days in New Zealand revolved largely around Hamilton jet boats. Uh, Bill Hamilton was a, uh, was a relative and, and we used to visit him on his dam when he was testing the, the jet boats very, very early in the piece. Not only was I fortunate enough to have a father that enjoyed and had a passion for boating, but I uh, was also really lucky to have an uncle that um, really valued um, those family times with boating and inviting myself and my brother out. A couple of mates and myself built a tin canoe uh, out of uh, roofing iron. We bent it, used tar to seal it and that, and uh, got a broomstick. There was a little bit of uh, canvas. We made a, a type of sail and were so delighted we didn't have to paddle that we, we sailed. Boating's just more than owning something that floats, you know. It's, it's family, it's friends, it's social, it's activities, it's responsibility for children especially, it's learning about the environment. There's just so many facets to the word boating. Even after I retired, I suppose, the windows and willows still hung outside the door. It uh, spelt the message very well in the poem. I'm going to be happy, how could I not? Sitting in my little canoe. When I'm I don't regret ever going into the boating business. I left a good job as a commercial traveller joined a partnership with Peter Yusinski. John Crawford and John Russell have been stalwarts in our industry. They're still stalwarts in our industry today. John Crawford had this, had this wonderful thing of he would take on any agency so long as he could have it exclusive for Australia, for the world. The agencies uh, sort of uh, kicked it off nicely, uh, especially the uh, Hobie Cat. We look back to the history, you know, 50s and 60s and 70s and, and boat building and um, fundamentally we went through this massive transition period of, you know, boats were made of timber and the craftsmanship and then this plastic arrived called fiberglass and then how that was brought into the industry, you know, and it really transformed boat building and, and put timber boats in, on their ear there for quite a while. And these people still appreciate the timber boats as we do, but fiberglass has really taken hold. Then the ability to manipulate aluminium sheet and now we look at it you know 50 years on from JCM's perspective and now we've still got timber we in a minority we've still got aluminium which is just very popular and fiberglass is out there in many shapes and forms the boats on the river go sailing by and the boats on the river go sailing by the boats on the river go sailing by When I first started with uh, John, John said to me, George, never be frightened to make a decision for me. He said, if you make ten decisions and nine good ones and one bad one, it's a hell of a lot better than never making a decision. He said, uh, we are not fly-by-nighters. He said, we're here to stay. We proved that right. The people that we meet, the boating stories that you hear, amazing. It's such a good feeling watching someone you know, they're so excited about picking their boat up and their family and everyone gets on board and the kids are like, we're going fishing and so forth. I mean, to be able to help 
so make someone's day or make someone's dream come true, it's a pretty good feeling. I've always had a passion for boats and the marine world and uh, I was fortunate enough to come along four years ago and, uh, and get a job here that feeds my passion. If you don't have that passion for your business, how else will 2014 mark our 50th year? It's famously said with Chris Conroy, what other pastime can you bring the whole family together? Grandma, granddad, you know, mum and dad, uncles and kids. And it goes in so many different directions, sailing, power boating, fishing, kayaking. I mean, there's so many aspects of the marine industry and we've pretty well been involved in, in most of them and, uh, and really enjoyed it.